Hello everyone and welcome back to my Abernethyville build. As you can see I'm up here. Get out of here Connie. Now as you can see the roof is gone. Now don't panic. I uh, yeah, there's a reason. Um I didn't like how it looked. I mean I did at first. I liked it but then I didn't like it. I let's just say I didn't like it as much as um, the original way I wanted to do it right so I thought I would just try it one more time because the the way I had it in last episode didn't f it didn't fit as good as the way I was trying to do it now I'm not going to like do that do this from scratch again like I did in last episode, so don't worry. That's that's not we're gonna do the main thing in this episode. I already have it all set up. Yes. I tr I tested it again. Okay, I put it up there. It worked. It worked this time. I don't know why it works sometimes, and not other times. Go figure. But it worked this time. So I'm going to I'm going to show you guys again. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, if it doesn't work, I will just reload my save and we'll pretend this never happened. <laughs> but I wanted to do, I wanted it Yeah, I wish there were railings on these stairs. I wanted it See, look. Look at that. It works. It works. It works. Anyway, I wanted it so that it um it fit just the way that I have it that I wanted to have it you know now see how well that fits it goes right up to the uh, <clears throat> the edges there now it's hard to see Let's see if I can move it I need to get into a better position here if I can no, can't really see it very well. I need to... Okay, let's go this way then. But actually... So you can see the edge over there. Connie, get out of my way, please. Lucy, ain't you done today's wash yet? No, Mom, I haven't got around to it yet. I'm too busy doing the other 50 things you keep telling me to do. You watch your mouth or you're staying home the next time your father goes to Diamond City. Mm. Well, I'm trying to get everything done, but the wash takes forever. Enough griping. Just get on with your work. <laughs> All right, well, I... Hey, you guys, I'm just trying to get it so that it's good enough. I'm thinking... Let's see, let's move it. I want it to be centered, but it's hard to see what I'm doing. Hmm... And I, I, I wish they weren't standing there. That's the thing. Yeah, Connie, go away, please. I can't see that far side, the left side. I can't tell if it's um, covering it or not. See, what I want to do is center it over the... So that the peak is up there in that little thing there. Except Connie is just... Here. If you're going to stand here, at least stand over here. Go somewhere where you're not in my way, please. Same with you. Go stand over here. Okay? Why aren't you at your stores and stuff? Thank you. Go. Actually, I shouldn't have told them both to move at the same time because all right well, there you go now she's going okay it's taking longer than I intended because of them all right let's maybe get a little bit farther back and all right <sighs> yeah, I totally meant to not do this uh, twice. I just wanted to stick it up there. And be quick about it, because this is not what this episode is supposed to be about. It really isn't. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of my way. It's not one thing, it's another. One person, it's another. Connie, don't you come back over here now. All right. Now, I think I need to have it so it's just about on the edge there. That, uh, so that the, the, the peak, the, uh, that peak up there is just on this side of the girders. And so that it's still looking like it's supported on the corners there. But if I don't have it that on this side of the girder, then it, I, th I don't think it'll reach to the thing I'm standing under. I, it's hard to tell, right? It's hard to tell which, which, if everything is looking good, but oh, oh yeah, see, it doesn't quite reach, no, it does, oh, it reaches across, it reaches, look at that, look it, look, and it actually looks supported on that side, this side it's a little, um, higher because these are, down lower yeah but look at how much better it looks oh it's not straight i got it centered on that one but it's not straight so it's not centered on that side but you know what i don't know if i really care <laughs> it's i think it looks better than it did what do you guys think lucy get out of my way I just like it better. It's yeah. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. I I like it better than than it was. Yeah. And it looks more supported too. These look like it's actually holding it up better. Anyway, that's that's that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, I wanted to point out um, with the bed thing, where how I had used the rug last time. And, um, cause some people, and I can't remember who it was, so somebody suggested that I use a rug and select all with a rug to move the bed. And, you know, it, it worked, but then I couldn't scrap the bed, and so I sunk it into the ground. And then some other people told me to just, after they saw that episode and saw me do that, they just told me to select all the bed itself. And it works. Okay? You can select all on just the beds. And you can move them anywhere you want to move them. Right? Even after you place them somewhere else, you can pick them back up again and move them. The only problem is that you can't set it somewhere close to something you've built. Because then after that you won't be able to move it again because you'll pick up the whole thing. <clears throat> and I don't want that. I'd like to be flexible, but they said you can use a, a a floor and actually you don't need to use an entire wood floor. You could just use a rug, which is what I'm going to do. I'll show you guys. You can just use a rug, just one little tiny rug, put the bed on the rug, make sure it's actually on the rug, then scrap the rug. And the bed is gone. <sighs> Thank you to everybody who um, suggested it. Well, especially the first guy who suggested it because, you know, after he suggested it. Somebody on Twitter, Pete, you know who you are. <laughs> um, he suggested I do this and I went and did it immediately and it worked. And then I got a whole bunch of, of more people suggesting it on mm, on the video comments so anyway pete thank you <laughs> all right now enough of that let's go down here this i had an idea for this now a lot of people suggested i actually got quite a few suggestions to turn these buildings or at least the big one into a factory that sells food or a butcher shop or both you'd help us <sighs> would you go away please like to turn well apparently 
picking up the entire town also lost a few other things. <laughs> oh my. Oh well. It happens. It happens. I just won't pick up the entire town again. At least I hope I won't. <laughs> anyway. Now. What was I saying? Yes. So the... They like wanted the small one to be a butcher shop and the big one to be a food factory. And I thought about that. I thought, yeah, I could make the small one the butcher shop and maybe they make like canned meats over here from the meat that they butcher over there and then they can sell them in the store over there. I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> now, I like that idea. I did. However, uh, this is a really small area for a factory. I mean, I... I tried it out, okay? I tested it, and I actually need to remove the corner because the Brahmin uh, provisioner can't get through here very well, and they, they need to because they walk up the side here and then down the middle. And so I can't actually have that corner on there. So that makes it even smaller of a space. Now, I tried it. I, I could get a factory to fit in here, like a really tiny one. However, I don't know. It, I don't really like the idea unless it's a functioning factory. Like it's actually making food. Or can actually make food. The problem is the ingredients for food, is, they're hard to get. Because you need food to make food. You need meat and stuff like that. And I just, didn't ha I just don't have enough. Like, to make cram, for instance, you need, like, Brahmin meat and other kinds of meats. Like, you need several different kinds of meats. And I just didn't want to have to be always, or even one time, to supply the amount of meat I would need in order to just make, you know, five cans of cram. I, I don't know. I just, it wasn't appealing to me whatsoever to make a factory that requires me to spend a lot of time hunting down a bunch of meat to make a few cans of, cr of a few cans of cram. So I'm not going to do that. But somebody else had an idea. I'm taking off these wood ones because I want to put down the concrete ones. They look better for down here. Because when you're down this low and it's really tall, it just, uh, it feels like you can walk under the stilts, you know what I mean? So I just want to use the, uh, this one instead. Anyways, as I was saying, what was I saying? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I know I was going to try to get this set in place before I started my episode and then I completely forgot to do that. Um, maybe I'll just cut out right now and do that. See you guys in a second. So, I got it done. And I'm glad I skipped it because it took a lot longer than I thought it would. What are you guys doing standing around? Why aren't you in your stores? My settlers are being really lazy today. They're all standing around doing nothing. You're... Who are you? You're a gardener. Okay. Why aren't you gardening? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I didn't tell you guys what I had in mind for this yet, did I? <laughs> Somebody, and I can't remember who, sorry, I apologize. I do not remember. I have had so many suggestions for this building that I don't remember who suggested what. But I do remember somebody suggested that we should have an Adam Katz garage sort of location, chapter, whatever you want to call it. And I thought that would be kind of cool. Make it like a power armor garage for anyone to come and use. Yeah? What do you guys think about that idea? Anyway, so I'm going to um, uh, let's see. I think I'll put the door there because then when you walk in you can just see the door right away. 
However, on this side, I'm going to... Well, first let me finish putting these. So, I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have... What is it? Here we go. Windows. Up higher. Not in the middle of the wall. Ah, uh, like these uh, ones. They're uh, lower. See? So, I wanted them up higher. I uh, Let's see. I'm going to have solid wall here, though. Not the broken one. There we go. Now, I thought maybe it would be fun to put the big garage door, the rolling garage door, here. If I can get it... Oh, it's backwards. Right. Come on, turn around. There we go. There we go. And now... I, uh, yeah, 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 we need some stairs, so let's just do these ones. Oh, good. They don't come out into the road either, so that's great. All right, and roof. A uh, roof, roof, roof. Um, uh, let's, let's see. I actually think I'll do it this way. I liked that. Before I did that on the... Um, I did this on the clinic and I liked it. It is... When you use the glass pieces... That are way, 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 way down here. Um, and... Then you can, yeah, have a little bit of light coming in, and um, this one there, there. I don't know, just kind of makes it a little bit unique, just a little bit unique. All right, so we got the building. Now we have to power this door, and to do that. I want, so, I'm going to put some power armor, like a power armor workbench in here, and also some power armor displays, so, I, I know they're going to cover up the door, I'm going to put, not cover up the door, but cover up the walls beside the door, I'm going to put, oh, sorry, I keep yawning, <laughs> it's kind of late at night while I'm recording this, I'm going to put the this here. This will be a switch to turn the, to open the door. Okay. Now, and also to turn the power armor stands on and off. Now, I, I usually don't show you guys my wiring, but I thought maybe this time I might. Because I actually haven't shown you guys, just other than the power shed wiring. But I haven't actually shown you guys how I wired up any of these other buildings. And I'm... I'm gonna I'm just gonna do that now so I am going to I need wire going through and then I'm going to connect it to the door so I'm going to be putting uh, not no not one of these I'm going to be putting one of these here and I'm going to put a rug down a couple rugs actually so, put this on the end of a rug. And then, we are going to connect it inside. Now, to do that, we have to come here and grab power from this building using the wire glitch. If you don't know what the wire glitch is, watch my video on the wire glitch. Okay, I made a video on it. Now, as you can see, there's a wire coming from 
the power station to this. So then we're going to want to use this to grab the wire. No, didn't work out time. <laughs> there we go. All right, now we got to go inside and connect it to the conduit, switched conduit. Now it's going to be coming through the wall now. See that? Then we are going to slide this really close to the wall. Not into the wall, and I'll show you why. Um, some people might think that I should just push it into the wall, but no. I want it to be just on the outside of the wall so that you can still attach a wire to it. The reason being is because when you use the rug glitch on a glitched wire, con a conduit with a glitched wire on it, the w the first one that you use that you're taking from the power source will detach. It will go away. So, uh, yeah, this one didn't because it's not directly from the power source. I don't know why it does this. It just does. Anyway, so you have to go get your power source wire again. <clears throat> we did it the first time just so we could get the glitch to work. Okay. it would. I wouldn't have been able to glitch it through the wall otherwise. Then we can attach it. Now it just, it, it does make it closer so it's not as obvious. You can see it's going up through there. It's connecting to that switched power conduit on the inside. All right. It, this is, I like to do clean wiring <laughs> because I don't like wires just strung all over the place. If I can help it. I mean, sometimes you can't help it, but then uh, let's see. I want to put these up high. So like, I don't mind if there's a wire stretch from one side of the room to another because that's what they do. But I don't like, you know, they might do that in real life. And so what? A wire stretching across a room, fine. But I don't like... I don't like to have conduits stuck all over the place just to get a wire across town, right? And, you know, they drilled a hole. They drilled a hole through the wall. Big deal. All right, anyway, there we go. The door opens and closes. And I can turn... Uh, whoops. I can close it whenever I want to. And stuff like that. Now... Let's make this look like a power armor garage, okay? Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't put a door. <sighs> we didn't put a door on the building. Let's use one of these doors. Um, maybe that one. Oh, good. Good. I was afraid it was going to clip into the railing when it opened, but it doesn't. Oh, well, it does. But it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of grass coming up through the floor, but you know, it's, it uh, it really doesn't matter because next time I load this save, they probably won't be. Or they'll be in different places because the grass is randomly generated every time you load a new save. So it's an always, it will always be in a different place. I remember when I made this fire pit. When I set it here, it was a completely clear area. There was no grass in it. And then the next time I loaded my save, it was just covered with grass. Uh, anyway, so now we'll put some power armor stuff in here. First, let's put a power armor workbench in here. And I'll just stick it right here. Oh, you know what? I didn't put any way to get up, up there without jumping. Let, let's put a ramp. I don't know why. It's a garage. It should have a ramp, even though we're not going to be driving cars in there. But I just I thought a ramp would be better than steps for some reason. So let's see if we can put one of these here. Um, let's see. 
can get it straight. It's easier to stri to get it straight it, when it's in there being red, and then because you can see the 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 uh, the line. Yeah, I told you guys this before when I made that ramp with the roof bees. If you've been watching from the beginning. Oh, it's gonna jump down, is it? Pooey. Of course it is. I didn't do this before when I was trying this earlier. But it's typical. It is so typical. Well, there's a little bit of a lip. <sighs> this ramp is giving me lip. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can put another one next to it. Probably not. No. Oh, maybe. Come on. It's not going to drop down like the other one did. Figures. <laughs> it's probably because it's too... Uh, uh, low. It doesn't go that low into the ground, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to... No, it does go that low into the ground. You know what? This step is in the way. I keep getting up on top of it. Yeah, it's not going to drop down as low as the other one. No, well. Eh, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> I can fix it later. I just need something to get up and down. Okay! Now, power armor. Oh, it's starting to get dark in It's starting to get dark now. Now, that's in decorations, isn't it? Displays. Power armor displays. Right? Alright. So, let's put one over here. I don't like how that thing stand, um, sticks out in the back. You can't put them as close as you want. Although they do clip through. But then they'll be sticking out the back of the door. Uh, about, out the blah, back of the building. Maybe put one right there. Can't tell if that's straight or not. I want to put it back as far as it goes without clipping through the wall. I should probably... Hmm, I don't know. I guess the ramp's okay. It, 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 I guess it looks like they just laid some board frames down. And didn't really bother to make them perfectly straight. Yeah. Alright, so let's stick another one right here. And this one, I think I'll need to pull out all the way out, not have it... I don't know if that's straight. I don't think it is. Nope. I want it. this one as straight as it can be because I'm going to put another one on next to it. And I don't want it to be too crooked. There, I think that's better. Let's see, because they snap together. I think I'm only going to have the three because there's not really room. And I want to have some other stuff in here, like um, workbenches and stuff like that. Let's see here. Um, should I have an armor workbench? I don't know. I mean, like, you don't make power armor on armor workbenches, I know. But it might look kind of cool to have one in here. I mean... I mean, how else would you shape the power armor? Pieces, right? With an anvil. I don't know. So maybe we would put one in here. Even though... You don't make power armor on it, it's just for looks. And it'll also draw people in here because it'll give them something to do. So we'll have people coming and going out of here. Now for the other side, I'm going to put some tall cupboards. Actually, I need to put this one in with the rug glitch because it doesn't... Go up close enough to the wall, otherwise. I'm, I'm going to use this dark rug so that it blends better with the floor. And I'm also going to get it as close to the edge as I can. 
It's too close. Can't select the rug. And so just in case I can't take the rug out without the stupid thing falling through the floor, because I seem to be having that problem with this settlement. I can't seem to remove any rugs. Whoops, wrong one. I can't seem to remove any rugs without that happening. Even after I've fast traveled and all kinds of stuff, so. <clears throat> I don't know why. Usually it works, right? And then, uh, let's put one of these here. I don't know why the big, the big ones can't go close to the wall, but the little ones can. It makes no sense to me at all. Anyway, there we go. I'm sorry it's getting dark, you guys. Let me, let me go sleep real quick. Okay, all daytime now. Not that it's much dark, uh, lighter out in here. <laughs> anyway. Let's get back to it. Uh, we need something for this side. I'm thinking maybe just like a bench like this. Just to make it a little bit different from my other buildings that have... <coughs> Excuse me. That have... Whatever. No, not a wood table. Um, they have there. This one that one's too big. Maybe the round one. Round one's definitely too big. Okay, the metal one. I just want it to kind of more match the building a little bit. I figure maybe they uh, just found this bench laying around outside and brought it in here, right? Well, that's what they did with everything, isn't it? <laughs> Everything they found it somewhere else. Anyway, I didn't. Doesn't. It's not. It's not like comfort. It's just where they take a break from their thing. Oh, you know what? I forgot to power up the. Whoops! Wrong button. Power up these. So let's get power from this side over here. There we go. Yeah. Maybe we need to put some lights in here too though. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that in a little I'll do that later. Anyway, what do you guys think? So then when it's time to close up shop for the day, they uh close the door and turn the lights off all at once. <laughs> I think that's cool. And then Adam Cat's garage. I don't have any power armor right here in this settlement, so I'm gonna have to go out and get some. I have them scattered all over the place. So then maybe we can put the big Adam Cat's garage right there on the side so that when you walk in, it's like the first thing you see. Ooh, Adam Cat's. I should probably put the name of the bar on the side out here too for the people who just walk in for the first time, you know? Plus, up there on the front. Yeah. I guess I need to start naming these buildings, these stores and stuff. Yeah. Now, I still do need to put something here. And, uh, Count on the minute, man. I suppose I could put a butcher shop there. It's just a little small, so I'm not sure. I do need to, f to figure out something else that doesn't yes. take up a lot of space. Yeah, so anyway, I like it. I like this Adam Cat's garage. I'm going to decorate it some more, of course. Put some lights in here. Put some uh, clutter. So I'll probably do that between this episode and the next. So it'll probably be decorated when you guys tune in again. Hi, how are you? Now, I didn't get any feedback on my decorating of this, which I didn't actually do any more of. Whoops. I didn't uh, do anything else in there, but I didn't get any feedback from anybody on whether that was sufficient for decorating demonstration or not. So, I don't know, maybe the, per the people who wanted to see me decorating hasn't watched the video yet. I don't know. Anyway, 
I like that a lot better too. Tell me, tell me what you guys think of that. And now for the back, just real quick. I this episode's getting kind of long, but for the back, I I actually had this idea. What if I built a big greenhouse back here? Not like a gigantic one. Maybe where this big clear area is, just build a greenhouse here. And it could be the Abernathy's greenhouse, huh? You know, this is Abernathy Farms. And I was starting to wonder, you know, what do they think of me turning their farm into a giant town? And they're not even growing anything anymore in their gardens. I thought, well, what if the Abernathy's made enough money growing their produce that they built a greenhouse here? And then they hired people to work it for them. Yeah? And that's how the, the town started. That could be how the town started. They hired people to work the green, even though it's backwards. We got the town going before the greenhouse. But once it's all said and done, we can say that that's how it happened. <laughs> they hired workers. They drew people to build a town here. The workers work here. The Abernathy's then didn't want to live in this shack anymore. And so they turned it into a nightclub, which drew even more people to the town, right? Then the Abernathy's built a house next to their greenhouse. Like, I don't know, we could put a house here on this side or something. It could even be a tall house. Or maybe we could put it over here, I don't know. Um, I'll get, get rid of this fence and all that. I don't know, I kind of liked that idea. What do you guys think about that? I just didn't quite know what to do back here since there's so many bushes in the way. But if I built the greenhouse in this clear area and then I had maybe their house could be raised up above these bushes. Like maybe we could put like a utility shed underneath it. I don't know, whatever. Let me let me know what you guys think of that idea. And this town is almost done and it's a good thing because as of today, the day I'm recording this episode, which I'm going to be posting it tomorrow, I think. Yes, I'm going to be posting it tomorrow. So, um, tomorrow being today, since I'm recording this after midnight, <coughs> July 11th. I'm going to be posting this on July 11th, my time, Pacific time. So... As of today, though, July 10th, I have reached 2,000 subs. I actually crossed over 2,000 subs. I have more than that now, but yeah, so yay, 2,000 subs. I made it. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we're building this for, right? To celebrate 2,000 subs. So I'm glad we're almost done. We are almost done, you guys, with Abernathyville. We just have that one building down there to build, and whatever goes back there, plus I have to finish the inside of this place, and finish cluttering everything up, and then I'll record a final tour. And it'll be done. That'll be great. This has been fun. Anyway, you guys, I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to let you go, and let me know all the things I wanted to know about uh, the stuff. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.